All right, I'm gonna work on a little scooter again here today, and uh, it's been about three days since I worked on it. And uh, since then, here's the back wheel. I was here's the front wheel I was gonna use. You know, it's kind of square. It's actually a back wheel for. Uh, there's the holes for the sprockets. It's actually a back wheel, I think, for a smaller scooter. But see the way that protrudes there? It it would have it would have looked awkward anyway. So I actually picked up a, a used tire that belongs on this we a uh, rim end tire and it uh, actually almost looks like it's brand new still got the little titties here on the on the rubber and the rim the rim is shiny almost like it's, it was never used so so that'll be good here's the uh, is the original tire on that one and this is uh, it goes with the same model as that the e300 so when the little dirt bike gets here, it might not be for a couple days or so, I'll have him work on this front here and cut that up and uh, make something that'll hold that. But while we're waiting for that, this is, it's been three days and that's aero coil in there and that hasn't gone down. But let me go around here. One good thing is the valves work okay, that's fine. And here's the other one. I juice that one up, and that one works fine. But uh, it's odd because uh, I know a piston ain't that tight in there. And here's the head. I juice that up, and it looks like uh, some of the fluid went down, which is good. And uh, let that focus in there. Maybe it's not gonna. But anyway, looks like. Uh, I don't know if some of the fluid leaked through or not, I don't know. But we're going to try and take that spark plug out. Alright, and then uh, maybe we'll try and take some of these side plates off here. Actually, only one side plate. Take your side plate off and uh, disconnect the connecting rod and uh, see, you see what we got to deal with. We'll take the bottom off and everything. Alright, let me clean the table off and uh, we'll work on that spark plug first. All right, I juiced it up and heated it up, and uh, I'm still not very optimistic. So I got this uh, BA pipe wrench here, and uh, we're gonna try it. Put my safety glasses on in case something jumps up at me. I think maybe uh, I'll try and shock it a little bit. I don't think it's doing anything. I don't think it's doing anything. Oh, something's giving. Yep, I just snapped it. Uh, I had a feeling I was going to do that. I think we're going to have to wind up drilling that out and uh, and maybe retap, not retapping it, but just clearing it up. All right, let me grab a pair of pliers, get that out of the way. All right, we're in this together. Let's look at it. can't really see much down there, but uh, I don't think we're going to reuse that. Alright, let me look it over and uh, see what we got to do. Alright, I turned it upside down and heated it up from the bottom and then I put a easy out in here. And just as I was about to give up, it, uh, it broke loose on me. So there you go. Yeah, my next step would have been to uh, get my little my little saw and uh, saw just about till I hit the threads and then chisel it out. But uh, the heat did that. I almost had to break out the torches, you know, give it some real heat. But uh, the map gas seemed to do the job. So all right, we got that out of the way. All right, let's try and take the base off here. 
I cleaned all the crud around. You have to take this off with a, with a half inch open end. Sometimes. Uh, I don't know if we'll do that. See, you can't get a socket on there because it's, it's almost touching there. Let's see if we can get this other side off. You can get a socket on this. So this, this one here shouldn't be that tough. If I remember, these are pretty long bolts. Hang in there. All right, there we go. Now let's get back to this one here. Let me see what we gotta do with this to get it off. Hey, let me loosen that and then uh, then we'll take it off. Let me see what I gotta do. All right, still with us. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, I just had to uh, Tap it a little bit with a the hammer there. All right, there we go. All right, we're gonna look at this together. Guys, still with me? fine thread there. Looks like it's wore out too. All right, let's give this a little hit in there. Oh, the road can. Hold it up one hand. All right. All right. No oil in there. And this is pretty dry. First glance, yeah, this has been apart before because uh, this tab here has never been bent back. It's holding the slinger on. Uh, let me look it over and then we'll, uh, we'll zoom you in a little bit. All right, I took this off the tripod there, and uh, actually, things in here don't look bad at all. I, I was expecting to see a lot of rust, but there's really no rust at all. So, the it might not even, well, I guess it, it could be the piston holding it, but then it could also be the, you know, the crankshaft here and the bearings. But uh, I'm going to take that slinger off and disconnect the connecting rod. And getting to that bolt in the back might be tough because the crank ain't rotating. But I'll see what I can do. I might be able to twist that out of the way to get to it. But uh, let me dick around with this and then. Uh, We'll look at it again. All right. All right. Yeah, I was able to get that off. I had a, a quarter inch drive socket set here. Where's it at? Let me bring it over here for you. And that had a universal in it. I think it's a Thorson. But anyway, I had a universal and I wasn't able to get in there because the socket was just a little bit too long. But, uh, I had a quarter inch Craftsman socket there, drive, and that fit right in there, and it's just that little bit, looks like three eighths of an inch, and I was able to get in there. Now see what it looks like here. Oh, huh, wow, looks kind of gloppy. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is there. Maybe they, they ran this hot and everything glopped up, but then uh, I think that would have been burnt. Let me get a, a rag and wipe that off, see how that shaft looks. Hmm. Actually looks pretty good. You know, it looks like on camera, but it's... Uh, not wrong with that shaft, that's smooth. I'll need to work on this and uh, try and get that out of there. Alright, here's where we're at. Uh, I got the connecting rod, the bottom connecting rod off and everything like that. 
and you see the crank is moving so that, that's not what was seasoning it up and the camshaft is moving nice uh, I had it up on a vise already and I, I was hitting it pretty good with a block of wood and a hammer and that piston wasn't moving at all so I turned it upside down here and I, I squirted some uh, coil down there on on the edge of the piston and I'm gonna let that soak overnight and uh, then I'll try hitting it with the with the hammer again you know if I get a little movement out of it then then it'll come out you know then I can hit it from the other end but uh, as it sits now with the connecting rod in the way I can't get the crank or the cam out so it's not like I can uh, shoot the piston out through the bottom and I'm gonna put it back up in the device again and we'll uh, We'll try beating it with a hammer and see if uh, we get any movement out of it. All right, I had coil on the bottom of it and a coil on the top again here, and uh, we'll see what happens. And if I say, like I say, if, if this don't move, then uh, we'll bring it over to the press and and get a little movement because I, I got about an inch of movement I I can get out of it. But let's see what happens here. Yeah, I don't think it's moving at all. I'm hitting it pretty good, so. I don't see any movement at all. Oh, wait, wait, I think we're getting something. Unless I'm just crushing the wood here. Yeah, I think we're getting a little movement out of it. That's a good sign. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, we did get quite a bit of movement out of it. That's probably, I'm probably bottoming out against the connecting rod now. So what I'll do is uh, I'll polish that all up in there and then uh, we'll go at it from the back side. All right, here's what we did. Let me put the light on for you there. I got that piston down as far as it'll go. It's up against the crankshaft. And I, I polish the inside here with the uh, some fine emery paper and uh, it didn't take any metal off of there it just took what crud was off and uh, the cylinder walls on this are actually beautiful you know there's really no scarring no pitting or anything like that so uh, I think we'll be fine like I said we don't know until we take it out but uh, so far things look good so what I'm going to do now is uh, we're going to turn it over and uh, we'll try and knock it out from the bottom and what I'll do is I'll, I'll spray this with some silicroil, which has silicone in it, which will lubricate it and stuff. So uh, that'll help it when, once it starts moving. It should come right out. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll turn it over and I'll, I'll work on uh, on this rubber here underneath. That way it won't damage uh, the head or the, the the surface here. All right. Let's give that a try. Hey, you know what? I think I'm going to mark this too. This is the This is the front of the piston pointing towards the front of the engine. Okay, I'm saying that the exhaust and the carburetor to back, so we'll put that piston back in the same way it came came out. Alright. Alright. What I did was I put a couple, I got your back so I don't hit you guys in the head with a hammer. But what I did is I put two two bolts in the connecting rod there. And I'm gonna hit them both with a piece of wood like this. And once I get it down a little further, then I might have to take this and uh, try and hit the, the skirt. But we'll see. We'll see what, we'll see what happens here. All right. It's going. It's going down. It's going down uh, slow, but it's going down. Moving a lot easier now. I don't know if you can see it. We're just about past the connecting rod there. Okay. About equal now. Alright, now I'm going to go down in here and, and see if I can just hit the skirt. Alright, let me see what's going on. Alright, it's working good. I, I hit the skirt a little bit and now I'm able to just hit the, the bolt here. And it's actually, I'm hitting the table now. So 
So uh, that, that piston's moving pretty good now. And let me set it up so uh, the piston will pop out. All right. I got you guys set up down there, so uh, let me hit this from the top here, and it should come out. It should be like having a baby. Oh! It's a boy! All right. So far, I don't see anything that wouldn't make this a, a, a good running engine. I mean, the cylinder wall in there is just about perfect. I mean, the rings here are all stuck. I mean, I'm going to have to clean this up, and the connecting rod is its loose. I mean, it's tight. It's Just by doing this, it's actually loosening up. So I'll take that apart. And actually, the rings, the rings actually look pretty good on here, so uh, we'll see. But uh, we're not out of the woods yet. You know, you break these rings. That's $20, there goes your $5 engine. So, uh, all right, what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna take the valves out and then we'll take the side plate off. But like I say, uh, so far, looks like we might have a decent little engine here. All right. All right, and yeah, the valves came right out. No problem at all. Uh, and they're actually in uh, excellent condition. Surprised me. Even the pins, you know, when I, when I released the, the spring on there, these, these pins that hold them in actually fell out. The intake, the intake could use some cleaning up, but uh, you know, that's uh, that's in great shape too. And the springs, both springs are in good shape, so uh, yeah, I think I think the main problem with this engine is like sludge. It looks like sludge is what uh, seized it up. Let's take this side plate off. take the crank out. Let me loosen them up and it'll turn you back on. Alright, got the bolts out. I'll see if we can uh, get the side cover off here. I got the magic hammer. That hasn't made an appearance in a while. Oh, oh that sounds pretty hard. Pretty tight. It sounds pretty tight there. I'm gonna have to work on this a little bit. Turn it back on, we get it loose. All right. Yeah, I learned on an FH once that uh, you're not gonna pry these off because they're in there so tight. You know, it's like a perfect fit. And the way the way I finally took it off the FH was use the crankshaft. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. It's funny the things you learn working on working on these all the time. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Well, you know what? I should have cleaned that off before I pushed that through, but uh, let me see. There we go. Even that, even the, even the crank looks beautiful. Unbelievable. Now, yeah. If I tried to save that gasket, I would have broke that. But I'm gonna replace that anyway. The gasket's still in good shape. All right, I'm gonna have to uh, take the pin out, drive the pin out, take the crank, uh, camshaft out. All right, let's drive the shaft out for the cam drive out this way. This is the flat machine surface down here. You're not going to damage anything. And what I do is I have a little gap here in the vise. You can't even see my finger, can you? Yeah, well anyway, I have a gap in the vise down here. Alright, I'm, I'm trying to balance everything here, so... Alright, feels like it's coming out easy. Whoop! Alright, I'm going to tighten the vise up a little bit. Make that gap a little smaller. Okay, that'll actually hold it in place for me. I'm going to catch it on the bottom here.
All right, there it is. All right, we oh, yeah. turn around here. Should be able to get the cam out now. There we go. And that actually looks pretty good too. Huh. There's something strange I've never seen before. Let me move this down here. This actually has a hole in the side there, but it doesn't look like it's meant to be there. Not that it's doing any damage. It's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I've never seen one with a hole like that. Manufactured defect, but uh, the teeth and the gears and the, the lobes are perfect. Beautiful. All right. All right. Here's where we're at. Yeah, this engine, I think this engine is actually might be a, a diamond in a rough. I mean, it looked like it was all rusted to hell and stuff like that, but every machine surface in this thing is perfect. You know? So. We are able to save the head, that'll clean up. Uh, I got the block down the, to a bare block now. Got the valves out, and like I say, the cylinders, the cylinders in there, you know, it look like hell right now because it's on the camera, but uh, that's just mud, you know? Everything was, uh, even the valves, uh, the valve seats on this are perfect. The tappets, the tappets are all good, they, they just about fell out. The crank, all the machine services on the crank are perfect. So, uh, yeah, this this key shaft here, we're probably going to clad weld that and bring that up to 5 eighths so it'll take a 5 eighths clutch. And this is the worst part of it. That's all rotted away, and that really doesn't, doesn't mean anything to us. That'll go inside the, the starter clutch. You can actually cut that off unless you're, you're going to put a bell on there a starter bell but uh, the threads everything is good this uh, this crankshaft is perfect like I say all the, all the barons in this barons on this side and the barons here are perfect so uh, what I got to do is uh, try and save these rings and clean this piston up and I think we're going to have a good engine so uh, next time I see you, I guess we'll be working on the the scoot itself. But for now, I guess uh, that'll be enough for this, eh? Alright. See you later.